I'm Simon Thomas and I'm one of the owners at Thomas the Baker. Uh, and I'm Chris Chapman, I'm the Quality Assurance Manager for Thomas the Baker. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a new loaf we're introducing late this month called the High Fibre and Seeded Loaf. So Chris, could you tell us a little bit about this new product? Um, yeah, so this is something um, I've been developing for about eight or nine months now. We wanted to look at uh, something that was a, a high fibre product and also the addition of sourdough to it and something that was um, suitable for vegans and vegetarians. This will become part of our um, artisan range. So I'm here with Chris at the bakery now and uh, we're going to start putting the ingredients together for the uh, high fibre multi seeded loaf. So what is it doing first Chris? Um, so we're just putting the two different types of flour into the mixing bowl um, and then we'll be adding uh, all the rest of the ingredients, the uh, water and a bit of sugar, a bit of salt. We've got a, a blend of two different types of flour, one's predominantly a malted flour um, with malted uh, barley in there and wheat flakes and the other one is predominantly a, a, a seeded. Uh, flour and we've got sunflower seeds and brown linseed and pumpkin seeds in there and then in addition to that we've added um, a Rocky Mountain sourdough into the mix just to give it some extra flavour in there. Originally came from Colorado I believe Chris. Yeah that's correct. So obviously at this stage, Chris is just showing the ingredients. We, do, we don't just bake one loaf at a time, we usually make two or three hundred at once. So once Chris has shown you these ingredients, we'll move across to the mixing machine and uh, show you what happens over there. So here I have the uh, mixing machine. Uh, I'm just going to add the ingredients in, the two types of flour, the water, the yeast, um, and we're going to set that away mixing. And we'll, we'll just bring the ingredients together for a minute on slow speed, and then we'll speed the mixer up for another six minutes. So as Chris described, one of the main objectives of this loaf was to produce something that was very tasty, that had good keeping qualities, but also to be a healthy product. Um, and there are a lot of claims made about health these days, but one of the main objectives of this was to make to, to create a high fibre loaf. So high fibre is normally regarded now as something that contains at least a minimum of 6 grams per 100 grams of product of fibre and we achieve that with this product. The recommended daily intake for fibre is for an adult is 28 grams per day. This loaf, depending on how thickly you, put, you like to cut your slice, contains approximately two to three grams of fibre per slice.
So now to our favourite part, the, uh, the favourite part of our development process, the sampling. So over to you, Chris. There's a lovely crust on that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's always my favourite bit, it's where all the flavour is. Great thing with this stuff, I found when I took one home the other day, is it uh, three or four days later it was still ultra fresh. It was a beautiful one. So. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, good bread. <laughs>